This may be the final tutorial for basic pitch matching, but you should continue. If you own a keyboard that you can play, if you can record that keyboard and play sequences of notes, if you have a friend that can play the keyboard while you echo what your friend plays, keep working on developing your sense of pitch. Because if you're someone who wants to do precision playing, working on your pitch is just an ongoing exercise, regardless of what level you're at. For this tutorial, we're going to do a little bit of a challenging thing called call and response. That is, I will play a sequence of notes and you will match three things. The pitch, the tempo, and the rhythm. To make it somewhat simple, we'll begin slowly and I'll always slide during the beginning segments. Plus, the pitch that I end on will be the pitch that we begin the next segment on. So neither of us will have to hunt and fish around to find the starting pitch. It'll sound something like this. I'll play a segment. Then you play the same thing right after I do. begin on the ending pitch. That would be you. And so on. Let's start. And we'll start slow with short sequences and they'll get longer. Make sure to record yourself so that you can gauge your progress when you're done. Here we go. Find this pitch. Well, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit on the low side. Let's try another one. The theremin's still warming up. Let's try this one. There's our starting pitch. Find it. Got it. Here we go. Very slowly, and use the slide. Now you do the same thing. Can we begin on the pitch that we ended at? you're with me. Here we go again. We're going to go a little bit faster, still sliding. Find this pitch. And here we go.
we're going to work a little closer together. Our pitches will be a little bit closer together. And you'll probably be able to just use your wrist. We'll try not to slide quite as much. Let's go. Here's your starting pitch. I was a little flat on that one. Let's try that segment again. rewind and always go back and keep working on them. For our final section of about three or four sequences, we're going to use fingers. Your fingers opening up, thumb and forefinger touching every now and then, nice and slow. Find this pitch. thing about pitch is you can go on and on and on matching calling and response but this should give you a good idea of the types of things that you can do on your own to keep on working on it so that finishes out this entire segment on basic pitch matching do them more than once work on your own and remember working with pitch it's an ongoing process. It never stops. It never stops. But it's fun. <laughs>